This is the big story we're tracking at this point in time. Will the battle over the sacking of the executive chairman of the Tata Group, Cyrus Misri, move from the boardroom to the courtroom now? NDTV has the details of the volatile boardroom coup that led to the removal of Misri and has specifically learned that while he retains his position on the board as director, he is likely to go to court in what was a shocking development that stunned the corporate world yesterday. Tata Sons, the parent holding body for most of the Tata Group, removed Cyrus Misri as chairman and brought back Ratan Tata as interim chairman. And of course, uh, they are looking for a permanent replacement. Srinivasan Jena joins me for more on this and has been tracking the story. Uh, Vasu, board meetings of Tata Sons are normally predictable affairs, but not the meeting on Monday, as you've been reporting. Mistri challenged the decision of the board, but the question is, will he indeed challenge it in court? What are you hearing? Well, obviously, this is, uh, as you uh, pointed out, a story that shocked uh, both the business as well as uh, the wider community, uh, since the Tata Group is normally extremely discreet and extremely methodical in the way they go about such transitions of power, but clearly not in this case. In fact, uh, the stocks of most Tata companies, if you just uh, put those graphics up on the screen, uh, opened in the red uh, with the news, not just of Cyrus Mystery's exit, but also in the manner in which it was done. Now, uh, the group is extremely staid and very discreet about their dealings, and therefore to get information about what actually happened wasn't easy. But we spoke to a number of sources and could piece together uh, the very volatile boardroom meeting that took place yesterday at Bombay House at uh, Tata Sun's headquarters, where uh, the removal of Cyrus Mystery was not part of the official agenda. It was brought up as uh, what is known as part of the residuary agenda, which is the section uh, meant for uh, all other items uh, that can be brought before the board. So when uh, this was brought up, Cyrus Mystery, who's the chairman of the board uh, and who was present there, said that this was illegal and uh, they could not do this without giving a 15-day notice for such items to be brought before the board. He's reportedly uh, said to have told the board that those 15 days would give him a chance to make a case for himself and to uh, rebut uh, any, any uh, uh, allegations of his uh, lack of performance. Uh, but the board said that they had actually sought legal opinion uh, to back what they were uh, going to do, uh, to which Cyrus Mystery is said to have said, well, show me that legal opinion. And the board is reportedly uh, said to have said that uh, this is not a court hearing, so there's no need uh, for showing him uh, such legal opinion. Uh, finally, the board uh, did uh, go ahead and vote for his removal, and uh, the final tally was six in favor of his removal. Uh, two board members abstained. Uh, and did not uh, vote uh, uh, at all. In other words, there was no one actually voting in favor of his removal, so it was sort of uh, six in favor, two abstained. Now, uh, we've actually learned the names of the two uh, that have abstained. That was uh, Ishat Hussain, who's an old Tata hand and is currently a non-executive director, and the other is Farida Khambata, who's an independent director. Uh, those who voted in favor of uh, Removing him include Ronan Sen, the former diplomat, Amit Chaudhary, Ajay Piramal, uh, Venu Srinivasan, uh, Nitin Noria, who's been the former dean of a business school, as well as uh, Vijay Singh, who's an ex-IAS uh, uh, officer. So it was finally uh, this vote that actually led to his ouster. But uh, Cyrus Mystery is said uh, to have told the board at that time that he will challenge this. In other words, it's quite possible uh, that he's likely to go to court as uh, early perhaps even as today. Both sides are set to be getting their legal teams ready. Uh, the Tatars anticipating trouble had in fact consulted senior lawyers like Supreme Court advocate uh, Mohan Parasaran and uh, we'll have to wait and see how that unfolds. But as you pointed out, uh, the Tatars also making it clear that uh, Cyrus Mystery will be staying on as a member of the board of uh, directors. It's only that he's been removed as chairman of the group. Uh, but in, uh, in that other position, he'll continue. Uh, but clearly, this is going to be much more of an acrimonious transition than it initially seemed. And we'll have to see how it unfolds. All right. Uh, Vasu, two more questions for you. Uh, so far, we do not have a good understanding of why this happened. And, and uh, also, you did a kind of a, you know, a hint, uh, a suggestion of, of why it is difficult to understand that so far. But there has been speculation that the lack lackluster performance of the group caused Mr. Ratan Tata, who controls the trust uh, that control the group, to lose faith in Mr. Mystery, whose family is the largest shareholder. Have any other facts emerged as of now? Uh, well, just a quick correction there. Uh, the Shapurji fam Palonji family is not the largest shareholder. The largest shareholder is uh, the Tata Trust, which control over 60% of the shares of Tata Sons. Uh, the Palonji family is the single largest non-Tata shareholder 
in uh, the group owning uh, just over 13 percent of uh, uh, the, uh, the Tata Sun's shares. Now, uh, as far as the reasons for his removal are concerned, again, we spoke to somebody who's a board insider, and what we were told is that the decision was not taken out of any personal discord uh, between Cyrus Mistry and Ratan Tata, as some have suggested, uh, but entirely based on performance. And the point uh, they said uh, to be made here is that of all the Tata businesses, and if you look at the seven core businesses, out of them only two, Jaguar, Land Rover and TCS, which is the software company, the consultancy company, those are the only two which have been performing well. The other remaining five are all in poor financial health and in some of them their case are actually negative. Uh, so this was uh, not entirely, some would argue, Cyrus Mystery's making. Uh, this was in some ways a legacy inherited. But uh, the point being made is that he was brought in to turn things around, but the business has largely remained as it was. And that, uh, we are being told, is one of the reasons. And uh, uh, also the fact that uh, it's a very professionally run company. This is not a family business, as we've been uh, told by the Tatas. And that in case someone doesn't live up to the mark, uh, then one has to take the hard decision to drop the guillotine, is what the source told me, and to move on. Right, uh, Vasu, this morning, Tata stocks, they opened in the red. Uh, we were uh, showcasing how they were sliding down. Uh, but currently, uh, what I want to understand from you is that uh, this situation doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon. And therefore, the situation could spiral out of control. In your understanding of all the people that you've spoken to, how then, uh, when uh, Cyrus Misty is making it clear that he, will, uh, he is there uh, uh, fighting for the long haul in a sense, how then will Tata be able to control the situation? Well, uh you know, uh, I, I did ask uh, the officials I was in touch with about this and they said, look, everyone has a right to legal recourse. If he wants to go ahead and challenge it, he can uh, do so. Uh, they didn't seem to be particularly worried on how this would impact the businesses because it's a legacy company. It's been around for, for decades. Uh, it has, uh, as they pointed out, a professionally run management which will carry on with the businesses regarding, regardless of what the legal uh, battle that unfolds outside is. Uh, but at the same time, obviously, any kind of uh, uh, you know, public uh, airing of the in-house dirty laundry of the Tatars, as it were, were that all to come out as part of uh, this entire process, is obviously going to reflect on the sentiment uh, surrounding the company, and that could, of course, impact uh, their market performance. But uh, again, we'll have to wait and see if that happens. Uh, is this going to become one of those prolonged uh, legal slash business battles, or is this something that could get resolved swiftly? We simply don't know. But yes, it is uh, looking like it's going to be a fairly stormy uh, few days or perhaps weeks or months ahead for uh, the otherwise very, very discreet and very staid Tata Group. Well, thanks so much uh, for that. Srinivasan Jain reporting from the national capital about this developing story that we will continue to follow.